Okay, we're in Washington, D.C. today, and we are at Ford's Theater. And of course, Ford's Theater um, is infamous for being the site of the assassination of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, on the night of April 14, 1865. Just a few nights earlier, the Civil War had officially ended, and Abraham Lincoln and Mary Todd Lincoln were here to celebrate the end of the war and have a good and relaxing time. Uh, they would be here to watch a performance of Our American Cousin. Now, actor John Wilkes Booth, famous actor John Wilkes Booth, um, was, was bitter and he was desperate to aid the dying Confederacy, um, would make his way into the presidential box and shoot President Lincoln with a single shot 5.87 inch Derringer that he had pulled from his pocket fired it into the back of his head. The president would slump forward in his chair um, and John Wilkes Booth would jump from the balcony down onto the stage and then out the back of the theater. And I'll go back there a little later and show you the area that he escaped from from the theater. Now the building was built in 1833 and it was actually a church, the first Baptist church of Washington. And its pastor was Pastor Obadiah Brewing Brown. Now after Booth escapes out the back door, Lincoln is brought out here in the middle of the night and carried across a muddy street over to the house across the street. That house was built in 1849. It was owned by a man named William A. Peterson, who was a German tailor. Now, after being examined by doctors Charles Leal and Charles Sabin Taft, he was brought here to the Peterson house, and boarder Henry Safford directed them inside. After working on him for hours during the night, trying to remove blood clots, and then lingering into the morning, Abraham Lincoln would die in the back room of this house on April the 15th, 1865, at 7.22 in the morning, at the age of 56, the first president ever to be assassinated. Now we're gonna walk around to the back of this building, which today is an alley right here, and this is the door that Booth escaped. He come out of here, jumped onto a horse, and then escaped through the city, over a bridge, and then finally into Maryland, and then finally into Virginia, where he was captured a few weeks later after being on the run. So this is a, a thing that most people that visit Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. don't usually get to do, is to walk through the alleyway and by the door here of the back of Ford's Theater that Booth would have seen uh, on the evening of April 14th, 1865. And then he would, like I said, he would escape through the city, out of the city into Maryland, and then finally into Virginia at the Richard Garrett Tobacco Farm, where he would then be shot by Boston Corbett and would pass away. So again, today's little tidbit video here is in Washington, D.C. Um, at Ford's Theater, and I am Frank Patrick Marone, Jr.